We got Make Music Cloud set up in class. Now I'm going to just run through it again on this video so that you remember how to use the program. Okay, so first thing is make sure you have a pair of wired headphones. All right, plug those in. And um, your instrument needs to be put together, okay? Here we have our list of assignments. You have a list of due dates. Please make sure you're doing these in order. It does not help me or you if you submit stuff early if you haven't done the stuff that you needed to do first, okay? So kind of do them in order as they're assigned by the due dates. When you're ready, you click the start button. It's gonna ask you which instrument you have. It should default to the instrument that you were assigned in class because we set this up together in class, so that should have been selected already. I click open. At this point, if this is the first time you're doing it, it may actually ask you for permission to use camera and microphone. You need to make sure to say yes. When the instructions for the assignment pop up on your screen, you need to read them. Okay, lots of students just click through the screen and they don't actually read it or they don't understand it. And then they wonder why they weren't able to get a good mark. So please make sure you go through and you read this carefully before you start playing. So this says, practice this with headphones until all your notes are green, and then submit. If you do not use headphones, you must turn off the my part so that the microphone doesn't pick it up. Okay. If you are not sure how this goes, you can click play. If you are ready to record, you can click the record button. Okay. Up here, we have three different sliders. One is the accompaniment, that is your backing track. This one is labeled as my part. It's how you're supposed to sound. And this is your metronome. This is your steady beat, tick, 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 okay? If it's too fast, you can slow it down. If you're better at it, you can put it back to the original speed. So, I'm gonna unplug my microphone because with my recording, it says, okay, so select assessment type through the microphone. It says here, unplug your headphones and turn the volume on. This is because it needs to calibrate your microphone. Okay, so I'm unplugging and turning up my volume. And then I click test your microphone. Ah, an error. Okay, I want it to use the MacBook Pro microphone. Give it another try. There we go, it was because I was talking over it. So then it says, for better results, plug your headphones again if you like. I'm not, I'm taking off that if you like. Plug in your headphones again. Okay, now I have three different colors here. This yellow color means I have the correct pitch, but it isn't the right rhythm, okay? I was late on playing this note. Green, good to go, okay? I've got a green E here, and then if I just move myself. Now see this red one? This red one means that it was the wrong pitch, and it tells me what it actually heard. So it heard a G, but I was supposed to be playing an E. Now the other thing is that if I'm like, oh, I'm not quite sure what the E fingering is, I can click on it, and it will show me. I could also play the sound, okay? If I am happy, and this is the best I think I can do, I would play it back and listen to it to make sure it truly is the best.
Then, if I'm like, okay, this is good, I click Submit. If I exit right now, it's gone. Okay, there is no way of getting this one back. So if you email me and say, Miss Mandy, I worked really hard, I got all greens, and now it's disappeared. First thing I'm gonna ask is, did you lose your internet connection? Did you close the window? Did you navigate away from it? Because if the answer is yes, that's gone. You have to start over. Okay, so if you're happy with that, click Submit. If you wanna do it again, do it again. You just click Record and work on it. Okay, if you've got any questions, please let me know.